Bride Aquarians, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is your season reading. Okay, I'm sorry I'm unable to be on camera because of my health issues. Right. Um <clears throat> as soon as uh, um the situation is over, I will back on the camera. All right, so Aquarians, I see you come in. Um, with the Eight of Cups energies, all right. So let's look at what your message is saying. So a lot of you are moving forward. A lot of you Aquarians are moving forward. Um, we see you decide that it's time to move forward. However, you're moving forward, whether um, you're moving, leaving a relationship or some sort of a business. But remember, this is abundance, prosperity and money. And um, I see that you're offering love, uh, um, as you move forward, a lot of you are offering some sort of a love. And I see um, the energy of the Four of Swords is here. Now, the energy of the Four of Swords is Jupiter in Libra, okay? And uh, um, a lot of you, if you were having some sort of a legal issue or that sort of a problem, I see that uh, uh, love is going to be offered to you. They recognize what uh, a Libra could have done to a lot of you occurrence, okay? So... Especially young Aquarians between the ages of 18 and uh, 50. I see that um, a lot of you love is going to be offered to you because they recognize what a, um, a, a Libran have done to a lot of you. If you had some sort of a legal issue, you are, people are now recognizing how you were unfairly treated and they are going to be helping you to rebalance some sort of a problem, some sort of a situation that was happening and transpiring. So that is going to be really good. So a lot of you people between the age of 18 and 45 is going to be deciding to leave a situation, a problem, a situation that has been creating a whole lot of issue. And you're going to be deciding to move forward um, in a really positive direction. You're going to be recognizing it is time that you leave a situation behind and choosing um, to move forward in a positive direction, okay? And that is going to be good for a lot of you. Um, then let's um, um, recalibrate and see um, what exactly was happening. And we are going to be really checking on some sort of issues that was being created. So when we look at the Eight of Cups, what do we understand from the energy of the Eight of Cups? Um, it is Mercury in Sagittarius. <clears throat> uh, yep. Nope. It is Saturn in Pisces. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Saturn in Pisces. All right. So um, uh, Saturn in Pisces. What is this saying to a lot of you? A lot of you decide to move on. Okay. Move on. Move away from a situation. Recognizing that whatever the situation is and was no longer serve you. You are definitely deciding it is time. It is time. You know. Your emotional inst um, institution, now a sense of mind is saying it is time. There is going to be some sort of a um, problem um, and I am walking away. I'm walking away. This is uh, discipline coming back in Pisces. So some of you, it could be a situation where you, um, uh, Libran is walking away, turning your back on a Pisces uh, or vice versa. So, so expect this. This is an emotional situation. It doesn't have to be a Pisces. It can be some sort of a relationship that you're in. And you Aquarians decided, hey, um, it is time for me to move on um, away from this emotional situation. It is no longer serving me. And it is time that I take a look at this situation and recognize uh, sometimes it is good to make changes in your world and look for a better um, advantage position in my life. And yes, a transition. 
a transition a transition is coming up and an end is coming up to some sort of a emotional instability that a lot of you were dealing with and this emotional instability could have been with a work a job or um, um that was going on for a lot of you that it was not uh, um making you feel good is as if uh, um you have uh, no um no um yeah positive energy going to your work um you're just not there anymore you just don't feel it anymore and uh, yeah you're going to be deciding to change your job and uh, you know this change it is about the ending okay so it could be that some of you uh, you're not going to be fired you're going to be deciding to just walk away walk away from a job walk away from a project that is not working for you walking away from some sort of uh um, work situation um, and deciding to maybe go on your own and start for yourself okay walking away from your nine-to-five job or leaving your project that has been, uh, been working for you so and um, you know you're looking at this energy and you're seeing transition okay and you're do, because you're taking this um, time to make this transition in your world uh, you're recognizing it is time this is the first week and it is going to be the week of the 20th of april until the 26th the week of the 20th of april until the 26th expect some sort of a transition is going to be coming in here you are having some sort of a news so it's as if some of you already decided you know that it is the end of a journey um, the week of the 20th until the 26th um, of April, you recognize that it is the end of a journey. Is it with a relationship? Is it with a marriage? Is it with some sort of a business association? You decide it is the end of this journey and I got to move on. I got to move on because it is time. So it's as if a lot of you are going to be recognizing, uh, you know, it is time for me to take uh, um, this opportunity to move forward and let um, a, um, a, a job opportunity or a job go because it's not fulfilling me anymore. And and there we are. Um, I hope you guys can see this. There we are where you're recognizing um, that some sort of a news or some sort of a offer could be coming in in the week of the 20th of April to 26th to let you know that it is time. It is time you leave uh, this opportunity, this job, this opportunity, this situation behind and, and look for something else that is going to be fulfilling you. It, it, you know, a lot of people sit in a job that is not fulfilling in them. And the only people that love their jobs, and that's why people who work for themselves are so happier, is because they're doing something that they're happily doing. And whatever that is transpiring, I see a, a hand, a hand is going to be coming in. Now, um, if you are in a relationship with a Pisces Aquarian, you, the Pisces could be wanting or is going to be letting you know that they are going to be moving on. All right. Uh, you could be letting the Pisces know or, um, they could be letting you know that uh, they want to end, um, whatever the association is, the relationship. And they want to move on. So some of you could be um, receiving that message when it comes on to your relationship also. Uh, and, uh, okay, so this is really the energy of a Pisces that a lot of you are dealing with. So a lot of you um, who are in some sort of a connection with a Pisces, uh, some sort of an ending is coming in. Okay, so be aware of that um, for a lot of you. And a transition it could be coming up between you and a scorpion also, okay? So be aware, a Pisces and a scorpion, whoever is connected to a Pisces and a scorpion, or these could be people at work um, that is moving on, or these could be people that you're ending some sort of a um, relationship or connection with, okay? All right, let's look at the week that is beginning from the 27th of April until the 3rd of May. We have the energy of uh, the Knight of Swords in a reverse. For some of you, the energy of the Knight of Swords is you people between the ages of uh, 19 and 50. 
and you're in the reverse so communication is coming at you and you or could be communicating something very fast so it doesn't have to be very bad i think that some of you are just st standing your grounds and using um your powers but you're communicating so you have to be aware of how you communicate in this timeline all right so step back and recognize how are you communicating in this timeline so communication is going to be a very good key in this week for you aquarians so the week of this is the second week of uh, um, um april 27th until may 3rd be careful the way you communicate in this week especially people between um between the ages of 18 and 50 be careful how you communicate at the workplace yes so whatever is transpiring communication at the workplace people between the ages of 18 and 45 be careful how you communicate at the workplace uh, you gotta be aware of the communication level at the workplace okay i'm advising you guys at this um you can see um this energy that is coming up there is something um, to do with the way you communicate at the workplace all right and if you don't then you could be bringing in some sort of a changes so it could be a situation where um a lot of you are being a personally review personal review um could be coming up in this week so this is a week of uh um april 27th till may 3 some of you um, could be having some sort of a personal review. It could be also an interview. So be careful how you communicate because it's going to be affecting people between the ages of 18 and 50, the way you communicate. So let's say you're applying for a new job. Okay. Um, be careful the way you communicate because that could make some sort of a changes in your world. So be aware of that. So when we see this energy of uh, the 17 come in, um, what we need to understand is that there is something at the workplace um, in this week or at home. is at work or at home where communication is going to be the key. Maybe you're going to your parents' house. Be careful what you say. Um, because communication in a room, some of you, it could be an interview. Some of you, you went home to your parents. Some of you, it could be you just talking um, to someone in a room. And this conversation might be picked up to someone and create some sort of a changes. Okay, so be aware of what you say in this week ladies and gentlemen you can see the energies uh, what is happening and transparent communication and the way you communication in this week is going to be very very important especially if you are in a room um um with another person communication is going to be the key whatever you said can create positive changes or negative changes okay so be aware all right so let's move on another person that you're dealing with uh, um, is a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion in the week of uh, um, the 4th until the 10th of May. The week of the 4th until the 10th of May, a lot of you are going to be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion person. Who is this person? Is this person um, someone at workplace? So who is this person? Is this a sister, a brother? Who is this person? Whoever this person is, have a whole lot of love within them and could be offering you um, love, but who is this person, all right? So we see that this person could be a child, okay? This could be your child, whatever is happening and transpiring, this person um, could be your child, but for some of you, this person could be your child's father or one or both of your child's parents, um, but this person, this child is offering you love. So whatever is transpiring, if it's not your child, um, it could be someone else's child, but it's coming up as your child is offering love or you are offering love to a child. Now, this situation is very emotional. This week is going to be very emotional. And I see peace is going to be coming in. So this is a situation where some of you, if you were dealing with, 
with a young Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion child. I see peace is coming in. And a lot of you are going to be working out whatever the differences that you and this person was dealing with. You're really going to be sitting together in the week of May 4th until May 10th and working out the differences. I see both the child and yourself is reconnecting um, and wants to reconnect. So I see peace, peace. Um, if, you know, if you had some sort of a conflicts with a child or some conflicts that has to do with a child, some sort of a peace is going to be coming in between you and a child. Now, this person is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person between the ages of 18 and 50. And whoever this person is, is going to be offering you love and is going to be asking for peace. They're going to be holding up the white flag and asking for peace. It doesn't have to be a child. For some of you, is your inner child that is screaming out and you have been having inner conflicts and you are going to be bringing this inner conflicts to peace so this is really wonderful and positive so there if we go where we are recognizing that the child doesn't mean a physical child but it is uh, the higher self and um your um you know the ego that keep on pouncing on you making you feel it as if you are worse than another person and that is the inner child that needs healing because you could be beaten up on yourself for a very long time a lot of inner conflicts and this is now going to be coming at peace a lot of you new love is coming in in this week may 4th until may 10th new love is here new love is coming in it is going to be an absolutely absolutely fantastic time a lot of you new love love is going to be offered to you and um, this love could be coming from anyone um, but this is going to be someone new who you have met and this person is going to be showing you uh, um, love and admiration and I see this person recognize you know they have not treated, treated you in the right and proper way and they are now going to be um, you know really really um, showing their love and affection and recognizing that you really do love them and you will go through the fire for them all right so we're moving on to the last and final final week and um what i should say to a lot of you is that um an ex could be coming back and really showing you love and affection and it is okay all right so an ex could be coming back and is showing you love and affection and it is okay um you can go and work on this relationship all right let's look at the last week the week is from may 11 until may 20th may 11 until may 20th the four of swords what do we know about the four of swords it is jupiter in libra but it's not for the librans okay jupiter in libra and uh, it is a situation to do with marriage, relationship, friendship, partnership, but it is in the reverse. Now, this could be issues in any sort of a partnership that you have. Okay, Jupiter in Libra it is not uh, um, in the upright, so there is going to be some sort of a problem and, re and relationship, partnership, anything to do. Remember, what is Libran? Um, Libran is the, the seventh house. And the seventh house is about marriage, relationship, partnership, long-term contracts, and that sort of a thing. And it is in the reverse. Now, whatever is happening in that uh, week of May 4th until May 20th, you got to recognize that some thing is off with a contract, a relationship, a marriage, a relationship. And you got to recognize that. Okay. All right. So let's see what is. Oh, so this is absolutely fab, 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 ladies and gentlemen. All right. So a lot of you were dealing with some sort of a partnership, relationship and partnership, um, something with new contract relationship. It could be you want to sell or buy a car or some sort of a, anything that you had to sign some sort of a court partnership with um, any contracts and that sort of a thing. Because this is the house of the um, the seventh house and the seventh house is about relationships, about marriages. And it's about so if your marriage was a little bit off, it is going to be balancing out. Happiness and joy is going to be returning. If some of you were having some sort of a legal issue with some sort of a contract, you are going to be winning and winning bigger. 
um if a lot of you had some sort of a friendship that was off or any business relate, re related thing with a contract that you were trying to um you know um bring some sort of a um uh uh people seeing the eye to eye with a situation that has to do with a contract it's going to be good 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 it's going to be good all right so ladies 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 with the starlight uh, ladies 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 all right so um ladies a lot of you aquarians are going to be successfully overcome a libran all right so um you aquarians could have a sister a friend uh a sister of a friend or um whoever this person is whoever the sister is whoever this friend is um whoever this person because they're between the ages of 80 whoever this person is you ladies are going to be very successful over a libran whoever this libran is and whatever that was happening and transpiring and what this libran tried to create and uh, in your world aquarians uh, you are going to be very very successful over this person okay so i really appreciate uh, um, this really positive endings for you Aquarians because what this is happening and what this is showing up is that you Aquarians is going to be overcoming some sort of a legal issue especially Aquarian women Aquarian women that was having some sort of a legal issue some sort of a problem that a Libran have created in your world you're going to be overcoming this and you are going to be walking away being very very successful and really feeling um, your energies and really being powerful and feeling your energies flowing because uh, you're going to be successful with a lawsuit, especially you Aquarian ladies that was having some sort of a lawsuit. You're going to be very, very successful. A lot of you were having some sort of an issue with a Libran. You're going to be very, very successful. So this is going to be good. So wonderful um, alignment of energy. So in this week, go back, ladies and gentlemen. And um, look at, uh, uh, choose one of the crystal because whatever um, it is under this crystal, you're going to be recognizing that a Libran was blocking your um, abundance. Um, they were blocking your prosperity. They were blocking your money flow. And it is going to be coming out where you're going to be successful over this uh, um, uh, person or the situation. This is an ATO situation. So it could be... A, um, any relationship or friendship, partnerships, uh, marriages, okay? It could have been a lawsuit or a divorce um, that was blocking your financial flow. You are going to be coming out of this successful. I do love you guys. I got to go, but I'm saying namaste until next time. Please remember to thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, and namaste. It is beautiful.